Hi ladies, welcome to prep week. Really excited to prep for Morning Meltdown 100. If you are not doing Morning Meltdown 100, that is okay. You can still watch these prep week videos because you will use these tools that we have in the future for whatever program that you're starting. So please watch these. We're gonna keep them short and sweet. So on Sunday, I'm posting this Sunday night, we're gonna give you the homework or assignment for Monday. On Monday, we're gonna post the assignment for Tuesday, so you always have like, you know, the day ahead to figure out what you have to do the next day. And it is not gonna be anything like super long. Like one day you're gonna to have to take measurements, the next day you're gonna to have to do something else. So it's not gonna be super long. I'm gonna read this video, we're gonna talk about goal setting, so, that is going to be something that we want to touch on because goals are important and I'm trying to pull up my notes. Um, okay, so goal setting. First, I wanna give you a quote from the book Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. If you haven't read this yet, definitely recommend it. I watch it or I listen to it on Audible because she narrates and she just like pumps me up and I listen to it when I'm cleaning or driving or you know, in my headphones when I'm running or whatever. Um, so this is a quote that really spoke to me. So it says, know this one great truth. You are in control of your own life. You get one and only one chance to live and life is passing you by. Stop beating yourself up and dang it, stop letting others do it too. Stop accepting less than you deserve. Stop buying things you can't afford to impress people you don't even really like. Stop eating your feelings instead of working through them. Stop buying your kids love with food or toys or friendship because it's easier than parenting. Stop bullying, or sorry, bullying. Stop abusing your body and your mind. Stop. Just get off the never ending track. And that is like Bible to me. Um, the reason that this really spoke to me is this speaks to my why. And we're going to have you post um, underneath this your why for whatever you're doing, whatever program you're in or starting want to know your why. And my why personally, so what is a why? <laughs> why are you doing this? What is the point of all this? What is the reason that you committed to this in the first place? Because that one quick thought is what you need to channel and dig for when you're wanting to quit, when you're wanting to give up, when you're wanting to just take a break. Um, that's what you need to remember. So my why is when I was pregnant, I gained 65 pounds and everything was uncomfortable. Uh, everything was hard. So going up and down the stairs, getting in, in and out of my car, everything that should be like a simple task that I took for granted before it was hard. And I was like, the, like this, my body felt hijacked to be honest. And you know, for a great reason, but it felt hijacked. I didn't feel like myself. And so I made myself a promise that as soon as I had this baby, I would push myself to the limit. I would, um, you know, put things in my body that made me feel good. And I would push myself during a workout because I couldn't when I was pregnant. So that's my why. So when I'm wanting to give up, when I'm wanting to give up, I'm like, or you know, pause or whatever, uh, I say to myself, no, like you're healthy enough to do this. You, this is your body and you can move it. It's your mind that gives up on you. So I want you to write down your why, whatever it may be. Uh, we're going to put that underneath here. Non-scale victories. So this is something other than the weight on the scale. Some of these like sneak up on you where you weren't, you weren't like, this wasn't a goal for you, but you realized like, oh, I could do 10 more push-ups than I could before, or the bathing suit that I wore on my honeymoon fits again, or whatever. So those non-skill victories, when you have them, I want you to celebrate them in the group. It's not boastful or weird to say, hey guys, my wedding ring fits again. That's an awesome thing and we want to celebrate it with you. So put that in the group, just post it in the group. Um, we're going to do an outfit or put on an outfit every other Tuesday. So for me, I have pre-pregnancy jeans that did not fit me um, while I was pregnant. And those I try on every other week and we take a picture in them. So you're going to pick what outfit, this is part of your goal setting, pick one outfit that doesn't fit you right now that you wish it 
did fit you and you're going to take a picture every other week and post it in the page when uh, we have this you know post on <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> I've been up since 4 a.m. and it's 8 p.m. so okay weighing yourself so we are going to weigh ourselves at the beginning of a program and at the end of a program not in between not the day after you start the first day and the last day and the reason for that is you are going to have such a bigger transformation than just the number on the scale and it can be very discouraging if you think you're doing everything right and then you weigh yourself and you haven't lost the weight or you gained a pound or whatnot so you're gonna wear yourself at the beginning so that you know what meal plan you're in wear yourself at the end so that you know what meal plan you'll be in for the next thing so um, a lot of us have an unhealthy relationship with the scale I'm one of those people if I weigh myself and I see the number that I wasn't wanting or expecting I get discouraged or sad or mad or whatever so that's unhealthy of a relationship and I'm breaking up with the scale <laughs> We're gonna take measurements on Thursday of this week during prep week, and we're gonna take before and after pictures. So on Thursday, we'll do that. Uh, and then you can log your measurements and your pictures right in the challenge app. So make sure that you log them just in case, like Emily's pictures got deleted off of her phone and her notes and all of that, and so she lost her measurements. So put them in the challenge app. The uh, Morning Meltdown 100 comes with a book. So you will use this as a journal, it's like a hardcover, and it helps you set goals and talk about your morning routine, and then after every workout, you will post, and will post, you'll answer questions about um, the weights that you use, what was your commitment level, like maybe you woke up and like, oh, you just weren't feeling it, or you're sore or whatever, and you didn't push yourself as hard as you could. Obviously, the goal is to push yourself to the limit every time, but maybe you just weren't feeling it that day, it's good to log it. Um, and then your why goes on the line. So I want you to write your why every day. Every single day you're gonna write your why. Um, my positive intention for the day is blank. And I committed, I'm committed to tomorrow's workout and then the time and initials. I know for myself, <laughs> I wish that I could say I'm gonna work out every day at this time, but that's not realistic for my life. So I might put like, you know, around the morning. <laughs> Uh, before I go to bed <laughs> because getting it done is hard enough with you know a baby I'll tell you that um, so fill out your journal and help you help keep yourself accountable so I don't want you to just set a goal of a weight or inches lost I want you to set goals like you know things fitting better having more energy I know personally there's a move from morning one uh, morning meltdown 100 and it's called a lightning bolt uh, lightning bolt burpee <laughs> I can't do that right now <laughs> I can do a burpee can't do a lightning bolt burpee and that is my goal so that's one of my goals so whatever your goals are I want you to write them down and I want you to refer back to them when you're feeling discouraged or when you're feeling excited about how far you've come. So set goals for yourself, post them somewhere, put them on a sticky note, put it in your office, whatever, and know your why and dig for that why when you are about to give up or, you know, all of that fun stuff that we talk ourselves out of, especially for a longer program. You need to dig deep sometimes. So set that intention at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna post this and then probably go to bed, but please get this posted, you or why, all the things we talked about um, on Monday, tomorrow, uh, before, you know, before Tuesday rolls around. Okay, <laughs> can't wait to do this with you ladies and happy prepping. <laughs>